Welcome back to PSC Tech Byte. Today, I want to talk with you about the pre-allocated space functionality introduced in SharePoint Framework. In fact, if you are creating a SharePoint Framework extension of type Application Customizer, you can leverage a pre-allocated space for rendering your extension. Uh, that is really useful if you want to avoid a nasty movement effect while rendering the page uh, when your extension is loading. You can do that either with a header or a footer, as long as they are application customizers, and you can configure this functionality uh, whether you are creating a site collection scoped uh, extension, and you can do that configuring a host properties attribute in the elements XML file for automatic provisioning of your site level extension, or in the client side instance.xml file for a tenant wide extension. Another option that you have for a tenant-wide deployed application customizer is to manually configure the host properties field in the tenant-wide extension list that you have in the app catalog of your tenant. So, let's move to the demo environment and let's see how to do that in practice. So, imagine to have a modern site like this modern team site and here you want to render a custom header. Well, I already have a custom header through an application customizer configure for this site. And in fact, as soon as I will refresh the page, you will see that my page is loading. I have an alert provided by the application customizer. And when I will click the OK button, I will do the actual rendering of my uh, application customizer. And as you can see, the page moved to make room for my application customizer. If I want to avoid this nasty movement effect, I can configure, for example, for this extension, which is a tenant-wide extension, in the tenant-wide extension list in my app catalog site, I can select the item that represents my extension. I can go to edit the item, and here in the host properties field, I can configure the pre-allocated application customizer top eight, which will configure the predefined eight for my uh, top uh, header, and I save it. So if I go back to render my page, you will see that now my page will pre-allocate the space, as you can see here. And when I will click the OK button, I will simply have the rendering of my custom header. So this is how you can play with pre-allocated space. How can you do that in practice uh, using uh, SPFX? Well, here I have uh, a uh, SharePoint Framework solution in which I render my header using a custom React component where I simply do an alert in the React, not a very good habit, but just for the sake of showing you the functionality. And then I render a div where I force the 8 to be 150 pixel. In the uh, TypeScript file, which represents the actual application customizer, I simply do the rendering of my header through the uh, top placeholder uh, in the page and using the React component that I showed you. And in the client-side instance.xml file, I have the host properties attribute configured for the client-side component instance. And here I say that I have my pre-allocated application customizer top 8 equal to a specific value, which will be, for example, 150. Whenever I deploy at tenant level my solution and I accept as an admin to make it tenant-wide available, the item in the tenant-wide extension list will be created with these host properties pre-configured. And as I said, we can always come back and delete this value in the UI of the tenant-wide extension list. If you are targeting a specific set collection and you don't want to deploy at tenant-wide level your solution, you can, on the other side, configure the host properties of the custom action in the element.xml file, and still in the host properties, you will have to configure the pre-allocated application customizer top 8 if you want to configure the 8 for a header. So, pretty simple and straightforward. As usual, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting, and I'm looking forward to seeing you next week. Thank you.